Today I go way past the end of the road, exploring abandoned mines in New Mexico, looking for minerals to use for pottery paint. Hey guys, this morning I'm out in southwest New Mexico, near Lordsburg, looking for manganese. I've been told there's some abandoned manganese mines near here, so I'm looking for some good sources of manganese to make black pottery paint out of. Some of the traditional pottery that was made here 700 years ago, like Maverick Mountain Black on Red and Maverick Mountain Polychrome, would have used manganese for their paint. So come with me as I go looking for manganese here in southwest New Mexico. Okay, this behind me I think is called Caprock Mountain, and this is where there's supposed to be some manganese mines that were worked back during the time of World War II. So we're gonna go up there and see what I can find. Uh, just to give you a brief idea of where we're at, uh, this is the Gila River Valley right there, the upper Gila. So Red Rock, New Mexico would be over there. And the Gila passes through a gap in the mountains right out there. And then these are the Burrow Mountains, so this would be where uh, Coronado crossed in 1540 on his way up towards Zuni. Okay tailing piles. This is what we're looking for. Looks like there was a mine right in here somewhere. There's lots of black minerals in here so this is where I'm going to start looking. Okay this area is literally crazy with manganese. You see the black rocks in here? That's all manganese. So in some places I might just be grabbing all the manganese. Here I can afford to be a little bit cheesy, so I'm looking for only the best. Look at this rock right here. Look at that. Look at that cool vein. See the veins of manganese running through that, I don't know, conglomerate material? Pretty cool. So when I say I'm looking for the best stuff, I'm looking for soft, stuff that's easily ground into paint. A lot of this is really hard, so I'm gonna be looking for stuff that I can easily scratch, make a black mark with. Well, I don't think I'm going to be going down there. It looks seriously dangerous. See those old timbers holding the rocks apart? Crazy stuff. There's a cable running up there. I wonder if they had some kind of a tram system for hauling buckets out or something. Pretty crazy. But there must have been a vein right in there that they cleaned out. And then, of course, all these tailings are the leftovers, the parts they didn't want. All the good stuff probably went to the smelter. Here's where they had a little head frame. This is the same mine I showed you the tunnel going into. This is above it. So there must have been, you know, like a little derrick up here, a way to haul out ore. That's some dangerous stuff right there that don't even go close to that. That ground around there could just crumble. You see, the wood they had shoring up the sides is all rotten. Which, of course, why the fence is there. So you got to be you got to be really safe around these mines and don't go near them. Don't even walk over, see, the part that's over the top of the tunnel. You never know when that stuff's going to cave in. That's some old working. So, in trying to find manganese that'll make good paint, what I'm doing is I'm looking for soft material, material that's easily scratched off and will leave a black mark on a rock. So, I've got this. I picked up this fairly hard rock, and then as I pick up bits of manganese, I'll, I'll scratch them on it and see if, it, if it'll leave a, a chalky mark. If it's soft enough to scratch off easily, then I'll take it and put it in my bag. Most of this here is really, really hard. I mean, it's so hard it feels like you could nap it, you know, like flint napping on it. Uh, so I'm not even bothering with that stuff. 
There's some more mines up the hill. I'm gonna hike up there because it seems like most of the material here is quite hard, but um, I have found a few pieces, uh, you know, that are usable. And a little bit of manganese goes a long way. This one, I don't know if you can see it. Manganese crystals. It's stinking beautiful. Black crystals. Uh, that is beautiful rock right there. I'll put that in my bag, but I'm not gonna make paint out of it, obviously. There's manganese all along that wall. You see the black? It'd be fun to explore along that cliff face and try to chip off some of that manganese. Might be rather pure, but that rock looks totally unstable. I'm just sure as soon as you start chipping on it, a big old chunk would fall off and clobber you on the head. But they mined all in there and dug that out. Wouldn't get me down in there, not without a good hard hat, that's for sure. The minerals at the second location were a lot softer, so I'm glad I looked around and went a little farther. Uh, so I got maybe half a gallon bag full, but a little bit of manganese goes a long, long way. So I mean, this is, that's a lot of paint, believe me. Uh, I could stay longer and look for more, but it's the middle of May and it's getting, uh, what time is it? It's, uh, it's after two, and it's getting hot out here, so. I'm gonna head back to the car. Uh, the best time to come out here would be like January or February when it was nice and cool. It's, it's just pretty low, we're down near the Gila, so our elevation's pretty low and that means it gets pretty hot during the day. But I think I did okay. I'm gonna head back to the car now. All right, guys, thanks for coming on my adventure with me. I found a lot of good manganese, kind of hot out here, but uh, had a good time. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, smash that subscribe button. I know you've been thinking about it, and now is a good time because I've got some really great videos coming up. I've got one where I track down the oldest potter's clay in the Southwest. I got another where I follow ancient trade routes across the international four corners. And of course, I'm gonna keep coiling and firing pottery just like the ancients did. So you're not gonna be disappointed if you subscribe. I appreciate you coming along. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.